everyone. I'm the owner of Sidetrack Saw Tables, and I'm here to make a video to show you how to cut vinyl siding using a Sidetrack Saw Table. Uh, a lot of guys use snips to cut uh, siding, and believe me, it's uh, a lot harder to cut vinyl, especially when it's cold in the wintertime. Uh, the Sidetrack cuts fast and accurate, so uh, hopefully this video will uh, give you an idea on some steps that will cut corners and make it go a little quicker. I've owned a siding company for 10 years and um, learned a few tricks along the way. So let's get started and I'll show you how the side track sets up. Basically that's it, you slide this all in and we're ready to cut. As you notice the side track is completely cordless, um, no need for cords, generators, you just set up on a job site and just start cutting. So basically uh, what I've got set up here is a display basically with a 612 pitch angle. So all these cuts I'll be making will be on 612. So basically all we do is set the side track at 612. Um, and then you can cut these angles, these, and all of these right here. As far as the straight cuts, just loosen the knob and uh, they were good for on the straight cuts. So we're going to start with the bottom cut here. I've already got this piece started, so we got a place to start. This here represents the window. We're going to cut the first piece, which as you can see is going to be notched around the window. So let's get a piece here and give it a shot. First thing we do is measure. What I usually do is just take measurements of the sizes. Okay, 27 and 3 quarter. And as far as the cut going up, we got, uh, looks like three and a half. Since I measured from this end, we're gonna go 27 and three quarters. I got here. This is the bottom of the window cut. Just draw straight across. Quarter line. Normally, if you're cutting with snips, you'd have to use a speed square or something to draw lines on these points. Since I have the side track, I just put it in, line the marks up with the uh, Saw blades and cut to the right depth. And we got to cut our length. snips, but if you got a straight, straight shot, just use a knife. And that's your piece. You 
got about a quarter inch play. What's in? You nailed it? Everybody knows you don't nail it tight. But you do need to nail below this edge here. If it's if the nails do stick out too far, they will they will show through on your siding and probably uh, leave marks. So that takes care of that. Now we're going to cut the siding's eight inches. So it looks like we need just one more piece of a. Uh, Short one is 27 and 3 quarters. Once again, all you need is a one pencil mark. The siding is a lot thicker than standard siding thicker but it stands out further which makes it more reinforced and this piece over here is going to be 41 and a half and it might have an angle cut on it Basically, there's a couple ways of making the lines. To get good at it, you can just trace it using your finger to make the straight edge, um, just like I did there. Another way to do it, for those that might have trouble, is just use a piece of siding. Piece off. Set it on there like this. Put it at your original mark you had. Cut a little D in it. Once you got that little mark cut out, you just put your pencil in there and just slide it across and it'll guide your uh, it'll make your cut. So 
you can cut this at different points, put different notches. You can put a notch down here. I'll get this to hold it for you. I can show you. So basically, but you get the picture. Basically, you're just using that as a guide. Uh, works great on really long cuts. So now that we got our window cut points right here, we're going to cut to the depth of the six and a quarter. straight up and it look, don't look like we're going to be into the angle so since we're at 612 right now we'll cut this angle
see our cut doesn't start for the angle until we go up a ways. So we'll finish nailing this and then Okay, this piece is gonna be seven and a quarter. Start out with an angle. We're going to go over the length, and we'll be starting our angle going up the rope. So all I have to do is cut straight to this, or I can cut the angle off and then cut it straight. So basically, we'll cut the length. cut. So in order to do those, you have to put the siding over. So I'll transfer this two and a half inch mark onto the back side. And by flipping it over, I can cut the reverse angle. measure this length right here. It's 30 inches. It'll tell you what your next piece will be. Looks good. So we have two angles. All left and the right at 30 inches. Thank you. 